Today I'm going to talk about BCD, or binary coded decimal, to seven segment display converters. This would be one type of converter. We talked in class last time about code converters, being able to have an input that might be one form of data and an output that would provide a different form of data. When we take a look at the basis 2 board, we see that we have what's known as seven segment displays, or SSDs. These are widely used in digital clocks, electronic meters, or other types. Some of you have said that you have a digital watch, so you're very familiar with seven segment displays. Take a look at the seven segment display show, shown on the slide we see that the zero is displayed. Now, the seven segment display is made up of seven LEDs. We can see with the zero displayed, we have six LEDs that are lit up or are on. And we can talk about the electronics of an LED. Basically, an LED or light emitting diode emits light when a current flows through it in the positive direction. It has its own symbol. It is an electronic device, and we see the symbol at the bottom. It looks very similar to an inverter, except it doesn't have the inverter bubble. We have a positive and a negative side, and on your basis board, this is all embedded for you. You don't have to do the wiring. Here we see an image of the basis board, and we see that there are four seven segment displays on them. Within those seven segment displays, there are some LEDs included for decimal points. Taking a look at the individual seven segment displays, we see that the LEDs are <coughs> given uh, individually in each segment. And they have a common anode, a positive end, and a common cathode. Okay, individual cathodes that we are actually providing the negative side when we connect. We see that there are four seven segment displays. They are labeled AN0 through AN3. And each of the segments on each seven segment display are labeled CA through CG. If we take a look at um, what we might want to turn on, look at the right-hand side of the screen. We see that for a 1, we would turn on segments B and C. For, for a 2, we would turn on A, B, D, E, and G, and so forth. For 8, we would have all seven segments turned on. And so we could begin to design a hex to seven segment converter. Notice we have a black box, a converter box. We have our inputs, switch 0 through switch 3, as being inputs. We could also label those B0 through B3. So again, this is a variable name. There are lots of different variables that we could give it. Likewise, the outputs, we could label them A through G. And we see on the right-hand side our seven-segment display labeled A through G. And then we could also label each individual as A underscore 2 underscore G, and then give it a subscript 0 through 6. Different ways to label it, different variables. <clears throat> and so let's begin by making our truth table. We have to talk about which LEDs we want to have on. And so let's talk about the zero. When we want to display a zero, which LEDs are turned on? We see that for the zero, we want A, B, C, D, E, and F all on, and we want G off. Likewise, we could do the same thing for a one. Which LEDs would be turned on for the one? If we take a look at it, we see want, we want LEDs B and C turned on. We want A, D, E, F, and G turned off. And we could continue this pattern of deciding for each number which LEDs we want turned on 
and which LEDs we want turned off. And we could make a truth table just by determining how we want the system to work. We are capturing the function and so forth. Here we have the four. B, C, F, and G are on and the others are off. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B. Notice B is a lowercase b to not be confused with the number eight. We have C, we have D, which is a lowercase d, so that it's not confused with the zero and E and F. And so we have our table and we chose to use which, uh, which type of values for our outputs. We use the words on and off. It's a very user friendly <laughs> explanation. We know which LEDs we want turned on, which LEDs we want turned off for each digit. And so now what we need to do is to <clears throat> convert the on and off to the appropriate binary values. Being positive logic, we're going to allow on to be a one and off to be a zero. <clears throat> Alternatively, because we have <clears throat> common anodes and notice individual cathodes, what we really are doing is we're writing, we're trying to pull the values or the cathodes down to ground. So actually we're going to say on is zero and off is one. This is known as negative logic. A lot of times electronic devices are implemented as negative logic. So we'll go back to our truth table and wherever we have an on, we're going to label it as zero. And whenever we have off, we're going to label it as one and so forth. So we have our entire table translated to the values that we want. <clears throat> and now <clears throat> we want to go ahead and represent each of the values. Notice we used 16 bits, uh, 16 numbers, A, A through F, as well as 0 through 9. And so we need four bits to represent all of the 16 values in the hex digits. <clears throat> Taking a look at each <coughs> row or each column of the truth table, notice that we have each row defined 0 through 9, A through F, and then we have the corresponding binary values on the left, and we have the values for the LEDs, A through G, on the right. We could now write an equation. If we wanted to write an equation for <clears throat> M1, what is M1? M1 is basically row 1. We could take a look at row 1. We see that row 1 is B3 naught, and it with B2 naught, and it with B1 naught, and it with B0, <clears throat> and so forth. Okay. What is this garbage? This is like garbage. <laughs> 